In today's show, we will look at one local farmer's market here on campus that serves fresh and non-modified produce, a local swap meet to find cheap and accessible items, a deli restaurant who has struggled to keep its doors open, and then take a look at what has happened to adopted dogs during the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm your host, Mark Monroy, and Canyons News starts right now. With news from across the Santa Clarita Valley, this is Canyons News. Thank you for tuning in. Farmers and vendors from across Baker Street and the Ventura County make the long two hour road trip every Sunday to arrive here at the Valencia campus and sell fresh fruits and veggies to the SCV residents. Here's more. From fresh foods to traveling vendors, the COC Farmers Market is an event that occurs every Sunday morning where vendors from Bakersfield and the Ventura County come out to sell freshly grown produce to the Santa Clarita community. Freshly grown produce is hard to come by in a non-farmer city, but these vendors make sure to give the people what they want. With many grocery stores offering modified chemically induced fruits and vegetables, these vendors make sure that the people are getting the proper nutrients without the genetically modified additions. You know, you're giving, like, to give back to the community, like, um, you know, we, we try to do our best to give, you know, healthy products and stuff like that that's, you know, not laced with too many chemicals and whatnot or too over, um, over produced. But fresh fruits and vegetables isn't the only thing that this market sells. Some vendors have enjoyed the freedom and exposure to show off their fresh sausages and freshly made juices. I've always wanted to work at a farmer's market and I felt like this would be an opportunity that I would regret if I didn't take it. So I love coming out here. I love seeing all the other vendors. I love seeing all of the people support local businesses and local farms. Now Baker's Food and Ventura are not your typical big market, but these vendors have found a way to make the most out of their hard work. You can get all the freshest uh, produce and whatnot uh, locally. So, um, and I think for coming out here is just, you know, the bigger market, you know, more, more demand for it. Um, yeah. Reporting for Canyons News, this is Mark Monroy. With local markets being relevant in 2021 and in the times where money is scarce, this one saga swap meet makes sure to offer the most accessible items without breaking the bank. Here's Skylar Sandak with more. From retro video games to refurbished pots and pans, you never quite know what you'll find at the Santa Clarita Swap Meet. Located at Saugus Speedway, LA County locals flock every Tuesday and Sunday to buy, sell, and explore. Of course, there are your typical items there as well. Uh, mostly clothes, shoes, jewelry, anything like that. I feel like there's a lot of car stuff here. Like a lot of like car guys and tool guys, and they do like way better than the clothes people actually. Like they sell really fast. Like people come at like six in the morning for them. Early risers are king at the Swap Meet where punctuality is everything. You have to be here, like they open at 5.30 for the vendors and then it opens up for seven. So I remember I called and they only sell weekly. So I called on Tuesday and they sold out. Like I couldn't get a spot last week. But finding a spot wasn't too difficult as the pandemic helped to clear out much of the crowds. But some still embraced the event as much as they could. On again, off again. Um, I came like a, a couple times during COVID, but it seemed kind of weird with people touching everything and then me having to touch it. So, With the recent reopenings, those crowds have begun to flock back. And you'd be surprised who and what might show up. <laughs> See? Look, my new friend. This is Bugsy. She's my number one customer. With so many unique faces, it's easy to strike up new friendships. Um, yeah, they're just cool people that come around and they like check out your booth and stuff. And so it's like a cute little community. A community that remains a staple of SCV and a place for anyone to find something worth looking for. For Canyons News, I'm Skylar James Sandak. One longtime SCV restaurant may have seen itself in the grave during COVID-19, but the two owners of the restaurant have made sure that their location didn't go down. Here's Leandro Lorenzo with more. Maria's Italian Deli is a staple in the Santa Clarita Valley that has been serving the community for almost 50 years. It almost came to an end during the COVID crisis, but luckily, Jonathan Carrillo and Brian Hernandez stepped in and saved the day to keep this iconic deli open. I had no formal connection to Maria. I just met her, uh, fell in love with her, and wanted to bring back her legacy to the Santa Clarita community. For many people in this valley, including Hernandez and his family, this establishment is a place where you can sit down, be taken care of, and treated like family. 
It's also a place where families come to to cater fresh Italian food to their families. So one of our main motivations in getting Maria's was uh, my wife and grandfather have been coming here since the late 90s and she did not want to see his legacy go. I've been ordering food here for family functions for the last 10 years. So for us, this is a staple in the community and there's no way I was going to let it go down. Not only does this deli serve delicious Italian cuisine, it also upholds a high stature of authenticity and traditions that really provide a sense of home. Uh, we did make some modifications to the menu. However, all the modifications and changes that were made um, were made by Maria herself. Um, so we, before opening the deli and the, and the restaurant, we went through the entire menu with her um, to ensure that we were just selling items that she wanted to sell um, and to make sure they met her standards. The COVID-19 pandemic was an obstacle for many to say the least, but here in the Santa Clarita Valley, there's a happy ending. Jonathan and Brian have made it clear that this business is here to stay. For Canyons News, I'm Leanna Lorento. With many people struggling with anxiety during this pandemic, resulting in many people looking to adopt dogs. But after a long while, many people have made the decision to return these four animals. But the question still lingers, why are these dogs being returned and what makes people want to return them? We have Selena Hamadi who has more on this story. During the pandemic, we all saw videos and pictures of animal shelters completely empty during the peak of the pandemic. Shelters saw record numbers of dogs being adopted. I adopted a dog. His name's Chunky. He's a pit bull and German Shepherd mix. The reason for me getting him was actually because me and my girlfriend wanted to get a puppy and raise him and we had a bunch of time so that's what we did my routine with him is actually pretty easy he's not a hard dog to take care of he's very smart make sure to go out and play with them like for at least an hour every day adopting a dog is not only a big commitment but it is also a long adoption process too well it usually depends on the amount of applications each dog gets in and then also if the person wanting to adopt a dog, if they have any other pets, we have to temperament test the dogs and we have to have a meet and greet. So it might take probably up to like a week or two, depends. But now these same shelters are seeing record numbers of returns. Due to everything opening back up, people are realizing they don't have the time to take care of a pet. People are starting to think more about finances and finding themselves sacrificing what's really important. So at any point, usually with each rescue, it might be different. Um, we have a week process where if it just doesn't work out within that week, they can bring the dog back and they'll get their, their full refund. Um, but if they've had the dog for over the week and then they, they're just like, oh, I'm so sorry, like we have to bring it back, then it would just be a donation towards the rescue, the fee that they've paid. To make matters worse, these dogs come back to the shelter with separation anxiety. This happens when the owner is constantly home and the dog isn't used to being left alone. This is Selena Hamadi and this has been Canyons News. For the latest and breaking news from the Santa Clarita Valley, make sure to follow us on social media. Once again, I'm Mark Monroy. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.